Welcome back to Suburban Radio Hour Montreal. Editor Burl Wiseman with you. My associates and friends, Anthony Bonaparte, features editor. And now we give it over to the great Mark Lidbetter, our sports editor. Mark, you've got uh, you've got two very special guests, a father and son. A father and son. A father and daughter. That's right. You were thinking of the uh, Cat Stevens song, Father and Son. <laughs> That's true. Very but, good. Uh, yes, I have uh, Ed Pirro, head coach of the Coast St. Luke uh, Canucks U11B girls team, along with his daughter, Nicole, who's on that team. And they have just earned the silver medals at the Chrys- at the uh, Chevrolet Cup Provincial Championships. Ed, Nicole, welcome. Thanks for taking the time and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Now, Ed, as a coach, especially at the younger levels, you go into a season, uh, the keys are that the players have fun and they improve their individual and team skills. Now, this is the really the, the bow on top of a great season. What can you say about this group of uh, players you had this past year? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, an, an absolutely special group of girls that uh, m- most of them didn't know each other before the season. Yeah, it's a, it's a mix of Cote St. Luke and, and Montreal West players. So we have girls coming from different schools, different backgrounds. Um, and within a few weeks, you started to see that this was going to be a, a special group. They, uh, they're they a high, en- high energy team. They're a uh, great team spirit. Um, they, and, 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 you know, the, my, my, my favorite part of it was that they, they worked hard, they gave it their all, all the time. And, and they were, uh, you know, really responsive to, to, to coaching. Now, Nicole, if you can just tell me for yourself, how cool was that getting to play in the provincial championships on your home ice and you guys get to come away with a medal? What was that like? Um, it's really amazing, and um, and um, and um, I'm uh, proud. Proud of my team. <laughs> <laughs> you you got a couple of goals along the way too. Uh, were you happy to be able to contribute to the uh, to the getting that silver medal? Yeah. And what's your favorite part of playing hockey? Um. Is it the teamwork? Do you like the the fact that you get to help set up some goals and get to score some goals? Yeah, and um, and I like hanging out with my team. And, and has it sunk into you that you've got that silver medal? You're the second best team in Quebec. You're Lac Saint Louis region champions. Uh, how 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 great is that? A memory that you guys are gonna have for the rest of your lives. Um, it's really great. And I think our team worked really hard to get to that point. Were the coaches too hard on you or you had good coaches? Uh, they were okay. There you go. <laughs> now, Ed, uh, how were the, the players? It seemed like they wanted to, they wanted to learn. It seemed like they wanted to do well. I mean, it yeah. was a pleasure to watch them. I was at Moscovich all weekend, and uh, to see them play, you could see that that they were there for each other. They had each other's backs, all center, all areas of the ice. Hundred percent. They 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 really cared for each other. They, um, like I said, they they formed a special bond early yeah. on, and they became great friends on and off the ice. And anytime you have that kind of uh, that that chemistry and that uh, special camaraderie it, it it shows in in the play right uh, on the ice and uh, every week every month we got better and better we started with some girls who had played hockey before and others it was their first time playing and even in some cases you know really their first time skating and no one on the team what was amazing was no one had any any egos right there was the uh, everyone was in it for the team, working hard, working together, and and trying to make each other better as well. And as a coach, is it a bit surrealistic from the first practice? <laughs> Could it have been scripted for Hollywood? Here you are, silver medalists of the Chevrolet Cup. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had no, I had no idea uh, before the season that 
uh, Coach St. Luke was hosting the Provincials. Uh, also had no idea as to where this team was going to end up. We just wanted to 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 put a team on the ice. Yeah. Uh, and then the fact that we had, uh, as mentioned, a great group and also a great bunch of players, right? We were really, really lucky. And as a coach, it, you know, you can uh, – you can be the best coach in the world, but if you don't have the, the players there to uh, to do the job on the ice, there's not much you can do. And so our girls did did most of the work, and I was just happy along with my with my assistant coaches to kind of point them in the right direction. But uh, they were the ones that did all the hard work. Well, congratulations! It was a lot of hard work. I saw the effort they put in out there. Uh, the Quebec Citadels that was a good team you came up against, and like like you said, four one, but basically a two one game. And that's a very much deserved silver that the girls will have to cherish. Yeah, absolutely. They played their hearts out, and uh, we we battled right to the end. And and the Citadels are a super good team, so uh, hats off to them. They they deserved it, but uh, we deserved our our silver medal as well. Well, I want to thank you guys for taking the time, Nicole. Enjoy your summer. Get ready to get ready to take the ice, Ed. Congratulations. Uh, you know, it's it's really great for the coaches because you guys put the work in for the girls having fun, and that's one of the keys. Yeah, well, thank you, and and and, and thanks, everyone, for who's uh, supported the team and the girls' program, and we hope to uh, to build on, on the momentum from this year. That was great, Mark. Uh, and as usual, it's always a busy, a, busy, uh, a busy time in the local sports scene. And with the Chevrolet Cup, Provincials. Yes, and uh, that was the girls' provincials. Lac St. Louis did quite nicely. They earned nine medals overall, three silver, which included the Code St. Luke uh, Canucks, and uh, six bronze medals. So uh, what happened was we just talked about the Canucks, but at the U11 AA, the Lac St. Louis Warriors lost a heartbreaker, one nothing in a shootout to the Rebels. And the Westlake Wild were edged 3-2 by the Montreal Canadiens for their second place finish. Now, the Warriors match was a clinic on goaltending as Lac St. Louis' Neva Girard and Michaela Tremblay of the Rebels uh, battled through regulation time and overtime with no shooter finding the back of the net. It, but it was in the first in the shootout where the first two Rebel players scored while the Warrior shooters were denied by Tremblay. Now, in the Canadians' game against the Wild, that was a special game, or you could say a special teams game, because all the goals were scored during power plays. Uh, Catherine Bordua was good for both Westlake goals, while Romain Luc struck for two of the three Montreal tallies. Now, uh, bronze medals were earned by the U13 AAA Warriors, the U15 AA Warriors, the U11B Sudwest Grey Storm, the U18A Grey Storm, and the Junior AA Westlake Wild. So congratulations to them on a fantastic season. Excellent. Now, that's not all the hockey, though, because you still have regional championships going on in uh, Lac St. Louis in the single letter category, and one of the games was a marquee performance by the Pierre Font Marquis. I knew that was coming. Anthony, didn't you see that coming? A marquee performance by the Pierre Font Marquis. In the U13. How do you spell my first marquee? M A R Q U I S. No, the first marquee, a marquee performance is M A R Q U E. -E. Continue. Oh, great one. U uh, 13B regional play. Now, uh, they took a slim two. Pierre Font took a 3 2 decision over the Montreal West Hampstead Knights. And uh, a trio of tallies in the second period provided the margin of victory for the marquee. While Montreal West uh, Hampstead goaltender Evan Haitian played a strong game between the pipes in the loss. But in the opening period, uh, it was Montreal West getting on first with Michael Yeats. He got the Knights ahead one nothing with a shorthanded goal. Then in the middle frame, the Marquis got all they would need for the win on goals by Jihad Hadouani, Leonard Khoury, and William Lejoie, who had an insurance marker that would be needed with an assist from Emilien Chabert. Archie Robbins made it three two contests, getting the Knights to within one with his power play tally, but time ran out for the Knights. Now, next week, though, we're going to have a wrap-up of the Boys Chevrolet Cup Provincial Championships. They're in the uh, Quebec uh-huh. City region. Bialik High School, the Bulldogs hosted a flag football event for the girls' teams to get the season kicked off. And we'll have a profile on the West Island Lakers season. 
And the 94 Expos return home for a great cause. What's the cause? It's going to be for the CAT DIPG fund for the CAT Demis Pavilion at the Montreal Children's Hospital. Oh, yes. Where the families stay. Yes. Uh, while their children are being treated. So the boys are back in town for that. The boys of summer. Terrific. Thank you, Mark Lidbetter. Phenomenal sports editor. Thank you, Anthony Bonaparte, features editor, Mike Cohen. Thanks for a great interview. Fascinating, uh, fascinating job today. This is Beryl Wiseman. This is Suburban. This has been the Suburban Radio Hour. I'll be back with you next week.